Welcome back to the love of our life, uh, staring directly at us. Oh, uh, don't speak for me. I'm talking. I say hour, it's the royal hour, as in I'm referring to my character. Oh, okay. That's what on I'm screen. Saying, it's like, I'm sorry, suit and tie was not the best yeah. music I've heard from Justin Timberlake. And, and <laughs> that was good. <laughs> we started not strong. Um, <laughs> while uh, while Danny Lance over here just stare, you know, just like, oh, what, what's that over there? Well, uh, Rika and Poppy just smile like, oh man, it's adorable. And Hassel kind of just staring off into nothing. Look at, look at those guys staring off into nothing. We're gonna, uh, yeah, I can say, we're gonna kick Gita's ass. Are you ready to face the Fido test to the champion assessment? Nah. Go cry in a corner. Pizza, get over here. <laughs> Spoken and instantly broken. Silence. Oh, I was about to say, I already know that one. <laughs> it's like, correct. Yeah. I wasn't answering your riddle. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look how clean this place is. The janitor's pop should be given more of a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Dandy Lance. It gives me great joy that you managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle. Of the Pokemon League. Wow, clap, clap. <laughs> this is the final te The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. Oh, wow. Top champion. Jesus. So, oh, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. I won't even break a sweat. Mostly because I can't sweat since I'm an android. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something like one, you might manage something wonderful like Champion Nimona did. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Get, I'm gonna mop the floor with your mop head, you mop. Because hair looks like a mop. Everybody get it? No one gets it! I do hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. It won't be hard. Alright, Burning Jeff, dance! Dance, you monkey! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what's this atrocity of- Oh, shiz, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's a fucking emu, mate! It's fine. It only does- it's a special attacker. Oh man, you lowered my special defense. That's bad! And yeah. It's fine, I won't break a sweat. No, don't don't do that. You don't want to do that. Don't set up reflect. Either. I'm gonna grab a piece of pizza. Not right. I'm eating pizza while I battle you, top champion. Mm. Oh yeah. Yes, that was the correct decision in the situation. Please continue. Thank. And will you share some of your pizza with me? No. My pizza. Oh. Holy fucking Avalog! I'm so screwed, man. There's only thing I can do. I mean, this is top champion, Gita. What? What? What about the coffee table? This party. <laughs> it is a coffee table. It is a coffee table. It just walked. What's the matter? You're not one to let something so insignificant fluster you. Gita, you don't fluster me. <laughs> God, I'm mean. <laughs> right now. Mm. This pizza tastes better than my inevitable victory. Oh. Goodness, King Gam King Gambit. He's a shogun. Oh 
Yoshi? <laughs> it's just not... It's not fun! Mm. Oh, now your flesh wore off. You're super screwed now. Vaulting Belusa. The goddamn Belusa. Oh my god. Mm. Go to Shadow Claw. Shadow! Dusted. Truly a devastating blow. That deserves a standing ovation. Yeah, I'm still confident. You haven't broken my spirit. Uh, Give it a minute. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of shattered glass where your heart was supposed to be. <laughs> oh my god. It's not Christmas! It makes it damn you fuck. Not yet, at least. Fuck it, like, oh man, I'm gonna just mix the, the colors with the rainbow. Hey! Hold that thought. Let me just. <laughs> bye bye, Christmas. I love you like I loved a dog. Not very much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you've won just yet. It's like, like you're definitely having so much of a problem fighting my team. Like, you're, I have you on the ropes, Dandy Lance. Yes, absolutely. Meanwhile, I'm just doing my nails. Yeah, and, and by the way, my name is uh, Abraham Lincoln. I survived. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous lions be like Rar. Be the light that guides all trainers, Glimora. Yeah, go on and charge your energy grenade. I'm. You do that. I'm sorry. If I didn't know that you were like. Like, much I would have thought that you were like a sweet <laughs> I don't know why! My men immediately thought of <laughs> Well, isn't this just a dandy performance? Ah, uh, man, that was. That was really hard. Jesus. Okay, I can't believe. That, that took a lot of time, effort, and love. So much. Honestly, I I have become a very different person because of this. You go beyond my <laughs> my imagination so easily. I went beyond, and this is to go even further beyond. Right. Burning Jeff stack like two sword dances and then like spam like two attacks. <laughs> Wait, what can I do? Look how distraught he is. She is. Damn it. I can't see. <laughs> nice clap. Such overwhelming power. Such amazing skill. Well, one of those is correct. And it's the overwhelming power. Uh, I don't know why I kind of feel... <laughs> I look like she like came back from doing a concert with the Blue Man Group. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It kind of has that uh, the finesse. It seems Paldia has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations. It's my honor to call you Champion Dandelance. Top Champion Dandelance. What, wait, what do you mean top champion? I'm the top champ. <laughs> You're the top champ. <laughs> no. No, I'm the top one now. I, I am, I am the, 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 the... I'm I'm the mommy milkies today. <laughs> I'm Vic Primanocta on this. You can't stop me. Only I can stop me, and I have no intentions of stopping. Congratulations is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Oh god, is she gonna come? <laughs> is she gonna come? Yeah, you damn this! Is she, is she coming around the corner when she does come? <laughs> Congratulations. Oh my god, Larry, that means so much. Oh, Larry. Yes, oh, yes, Larry. amazing. Thank you, Larry. I, I can't, I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> fucking child crying next to you. Ugh, crying again. Oh my god, it was so beautiful! Oh my god, I'm so sorry you looked such a weird looking squid. She really does look like a squid. She's terrifying. Is this what happened to the squiddies? Nami? Uh, uh, squid girl tried to take over the world. Uh. It's really funny. You Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldia. Thanks. 
and amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine the br that shine brightest. Cool. Champion Dandelands. Top champion. Champion. Top. <laughs> it is now your duty to set an example for all of the trainers in Paldi of Paldia. Now, allow me to walk you back to the entrance. <laughs> so that we can feverishly make out like true... <laughs> like, like true champions, too. <laughs> I wanted to be part of that, says the knight. I forgot her name. Fiona or something? Oh my god, there's a new champion! I, wait, what's her, what's her, like... Nimona. Nimona. <laughs> Fucking a little pass over there. She's like, oh god, there's a new champion, and she's one of my students, and she's great! No, oh my... I'm so proud of her! Someone shut this toddler up! No! <laughs> I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Is he gonna be me? No. <laughs> Why not? Because you're fucking a blubbering, crying mess right now, man. Uh, it's a fair fight. <laughs> Danny Lance, Danny Lance. Mega Man, oh, Mega Man. <laughs> fucking, lo I love you, Aaron Hansen. You're great. I did it! Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I knew you could, but Jesus. <laughs> Fucking me for like three days. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I can tell just I can tell just looking at you. You did it, right? She let it, she did. Yes, Nimona, he did do it. I gotta do it two more times that I win. You became a champion? Of math. Yes. <laughs> I knew all along. Uh. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> It's almost like she called, she like texted you like before the battle even started. Like, listen, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> the gaming is rigged. The gaming is rigged. Oh man, Danny Lance, I'm a champion, and now you're a champion. Oh my god, this is this is gonna go into all kinds of insanitary areas if I allow it. Which means we're true equals, you and me, both champion wraith trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. Let's you and me be best rivals for life. Hell yeah. Yes! Tomoya! Alright. You know what rivals do? Battle their absolute hearts out. I'm gonna hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, Champion Mona. Bitch! I ain't waiting any longer! Oh, what's the matter? How is it? I believe, I mean, the champion assessment has only just ended. I believe arrest is in order for champion Dandelion, Sarah Ledge, and the others. Champions must be understanding toward their opponents. Oh yeah, she, uh, she agreed to this too. Yeah, right, what the fuck is that? Champions need to be agreeable. <laughs> <laughs> there I go again, overexcited again. Sorry, Dandelion and Sarah Ledge. Oh, just kiss already. I'm tired of watching this. Well, how about you kiss already? I can't. There's a screen in the way. I don't know. That that wouldn't stop a lot of people. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I must still... They stop doing those, like, public gaming areas. <laughs> I, I must also ask, is this roadside really the setting you two want for your first battle as true equals and rivals? Hmm. Did you have now that you this? mention it, that's a good point. In that case, we can can we use one of the Pokemon League battle courts? Surely there's someone more fitting. A place with special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Special meaning, huh? Hmm. Let me see. Anywhere leap to mind, Danny Lance? Out behind your house? Cause that so Oh that, yeah, that's the first area, isn't Cause it? Cause that yeah. was the first place, and that's what I actually picked like when I first first did this, and I was like, oh that's not the criteria. Which is weird. It's Mesa Goza. Mesa Goza, ooh, good call. The place where we set out on our journey. But that was like, the place where we, well, yeah, I guess. That reminds me, Dandelions. Remember back when Director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? You mean Pavel? <laughs> Pavel! <laughs> Director Pavel. Oh, God, no. <laughs> you know how he told us to go in search of our own treasure? In exchange for betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> that is my treasure. <laughs> This is my best betrayed friend, Artyom. <laughs> well, I know what treasure I got out of all this. I found a true rival. 
Someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. That's right. I mean you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Dandelands. I'm just happy to be here. Anyway, that being said, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Court in Mesagosa Central Plaza. See you there. Get ready to fucking cry. Yay! <laughs> the respect you two share is palpable. Even a bit enviable, to be honest. I am known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test of her champion assessment, champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. See, fucking, like... I've been going on and on about how Gita just... Everyone says she's strong, but she's not. And even she's like, yeah, I'm not really... I'm not... Like, I'm just shit. And <laughs> the sentence right here, like, Nimona held back against her. Like, damn. In you, I suspect she has found someone she can battle without holding anything back. Time to stop playing this game on easy mode. <laughs> it's time to heal our Pokemon. Then we're gonna go battle Nimona. Oh, once upon a midnight dream. <laughs> Sorry for blowing up the mic in your face. Ah, no, no worries, man. It happens. Ugh. You, you did a math. Ugh, I, I certainly No, no, it's not man, wait, yet. Wait, we've started off this episode with like two major victories. It's time for the third. Uh, when I know what those are, I'll be sure to clap with you. Dunna, dunna, dunna. What? Ah, you son of a na 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 The patch that came out for this game fixed nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Still pixeling and crappy as ever. Pokemon Violet, we hate you. I love you, Pokemon Violet. Any second now. Oh, it's one of the important cutscenes. Ah! There you are, Dandy Lance. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks seem right. I need to watch. Word got around, I guess. Everyone's crowding around. And out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. Oh, the wind's blowing. Even Director Clavel's here. And Larry showed up too. The stage is set. It's my all-out power. Versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. Now we fight true Nimona. Aw oh, yeah. You are challenged by champion Nimona. It's her champion pose. This is gonna get it ta- oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, this is you. Alright, Burning Jeff, you know what to do. Finally, the thing I've waited all this time for. Time to begin our greatest battle of all! I'm powering up! On your grave! And I too shall power up. Much like Arvin did. No, oh, the stealth rock! My god. A technique befitting our champion. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna get this right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! How do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. Ow! That wasn't even a crit! I mean, if it was a crit, it would've killed me. Thankfully, it did- Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. You faster? Burning Jeff! Well, he used a priority move. Oh. So it was gonna go first no matter what. Ah, fuck. Burning Jeff! My mistake was believing in you. Ha <laughs> using Burning Jeff this entire bloody time. Which is why I should have been using my big fuck you hammer. 
trash cannon! Oh, fuck. Ow! Oh. One shot it. Oh. No. To think I helped you teach. To help teach you type matchups. Now you're using them to put the hurt on me. Oh my god. It's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Tink Tank, you're also gonna die, so. Trash cannon! Was the critical hit necessary? See that crit? I clinched that through sheer determination to win. Dandy, why don't you just revive and heal in your Pokemon? I, I don't- I don't- I want to keep it honest for this one. <laughs> Alrighty, it's time for you! Supreme Overlord. Alright, I would stack up a Sword Dance right now, but you need to die. We've already taken out two of my Pokemon. <laughs> Boom! But he has a split second before he knows he's dead. It's like, wait, did I get hit? <laughs> oh no, she's gonna send out Palmite. I'm gonna have to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Engaging Robo Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Skipper, it's your time to shine. Kill this discount Pikachu. Earthquake! Oh, fuck. God damn it! Why, why was that a crit? Come on! Killed him one. Yes. Orthworm. Son of a fuck. Both of them's pretty fast. I might not make it out of this alive. Earthquake! Oh fuck. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like he used it before you! God damn it. You see this, Gita? <laughs> this is what a fucking battle is. Time to hold the line. No retreat! It boosts all my stats, but Centurion can't switch out from the battle now. It must stay here until it dies. Like a good little boy. <laughs> Iron Tail, that won't even. I won't even feel that. I kind of felt that. Damn it, my defense fell. Now I'm back to a net neutral of defense. You son of a bitch. Hey, yeah. Ah, oh, that was supposed to kill you. Ow, fuck! Nimona, hold back a little bit! I mean, what? <laughs> the Dunsparce. Oh god, it's got the reset uh, actions. Damn it! Well, die in one. Okay, good. Good. You'll die in this one. Hooray! Oh god. None of your stat boosts will matter once you're dead. You're so long. Why? Oh no, not Gudra. I hate Gudra. Gudra. Gudra fucking sucks. Oh, that thing! I hate her design so much. What is your terror type centurion? Oh, it's dragon? That's interesting. Uh. Fuck, I'm saying to a brick break. Boop. Damn. Well, I'm dead. Damn it, centurion! I trusted you! Seeing the crowd was like, ah. Oh. King Harold, let's go. <laughs> How's it going, you King Harold? King of Impact! Wow, I can't believe King Harold got sped. Had to make sure it was dead. Well, okay. 
Imagine a Gudra's twerking its ass. The what? A Gudra just twerking. Because Gudra's made of slime. It's all down to this. My last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. <laughs> That's the it's just, like lay there, it's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Shine blazingly bright. My greatest treasure. Alright. She's charging her energy grenade. This might hurt. Get ready to see how strong Meow Scarter has grown since the day we all met. Flower Trunk! <laughs> oh wow, King Kale barely even felt that. Alright, King Kale. Do it. Ah, oh, fuck, this might kill me. Oh boy. Oh god. I lamped him! Oh, oh. Go! Get ah. It was even a crit, too. A critical hit at a critical moment that goes beyond luck. You've got some kind of grit. You've got some kind of gift. I mean, let's. Ah. And the show is over. I like that it goes into a bow. And our attempts to go into a bow with pelvis ruptured. <laughs> Time for another. Important cutscene. Love this one. And the wind blows. Oh, oh. You. You did it! This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Danny Lance! I mean, you knocked me flat out, and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... <laughs> She's going nuts, everyone! Oh, man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better. So much more fun than I ever knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. And then we do the Predator hand grip. <laughs> <laughs> now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Dandy Lance. Before round two. God damn it. I'm like, oh god. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. She's just like, I gotta run! <laughs> I know I make my greatest game. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. The victory road complete. Like the B-Man said, it's the wrong French rise! <laughs> but I don't fucking care! It's a copyright! The Legend of Gonna Zelda fits with anything! I'm gonna lose it all in the name of Pokemon! <laughs> She's literally just like waiting at that, at that fucking arena. Like the rain, the snow, the fall. She's like, so you finally came back? I haven't moved from this spot. I haven't eaten in days. Weeks even. Seasons. Seasons pass and I still wander here. Some say I'm a ghost. Others know who I am. Must get the fight. <laughs> oh boy, this thing fly. Well, good thing I brought my anti <laughs> tank rifle with me. Thank god I brought my Sam turret. <laughs> Now, we must go face against the rest of the Team Star. We have three more members left of Team Star. Oh. Oh no. Oh. How will we ever defeat them? I'm sorry, I lost interest in who these people are. Probably with our superior and mightier power. Probably with our substantially bigger wee-wees. 
<laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> just sit here and you go like... <sighs> I mean, I keep hearing penis jokes. Well, you should start making them then. Fine, dick and balls be all <laughs> Me up again. Dick and Balls the Opera. <laughs> it was like, sure, whatever. Dick and Balls the Opera. Who cares? <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera. Instead of wearing a mask, he just has a sack on his face. <laughs> I've never even seen I Phantom was of the Opera. Like it was a unicorn. Like they have all their normal costumes, but it's a dick on top of their heads. What the frunk? What what what's happening here? It broke. Oh. We already did this cutscene though. We did this on camera. Yummy. Oh, Dandelions. Hey, Director Clavel. As I've told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Whatever you say, Clavel. Clive. Cl Cli Clivel. Close enough. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and f to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team dis to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand th things more clearly. Oh, I guess this cutscene triggers after you fight two Steam Team Star bosses. Oh, okay. Let's go to another one. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, you know that you can count on me for backup. Until then, see you around, Danny Lance. What do you say, Director Clavel? It's, it's Clive. Whatever you say, Clavel. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'M EXPELLING YOU! Yeah. <laughs> ah, crap. The Dandy Corporation said they, they'd turn me into a toaster if, he, if I got expelled. <laughs> yeah! What the fuck? Seems like the folks behind the operation- ah! Operation Starfall finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang? We got we got to kick their asses. Fucking, we're gonna beat them with a the trailer park. I'm gonna beat them with a the trailer park with a the actual full park. With just the full on trailer, lift it out of the ground. We'll use a crane. We'll use two if we have to. But by good golly gosh, we'll use it. We'll, we'll use to beat you in the dirt, young Missy. You could be made out of the sturdiest futuristic materials you want, but you, you're gonna get it. What, what are you even saying, sir? Ah, oh, you know, you're gonna lift up a half a continent and crush you with it. The, what, are you drunk? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that's... Ah! Not drunk anymore, are you? Although you are riling in pain. It, Why would you do that? You're not drunk anymore, but you do have one less liver. Congratulations. I can see your life. Can I go to it? No. It will be replaced by the cold, dead darkness soon. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why do I feel so happy in this pain? Because you're dying, sir. No. No. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Stop coming while you're dying! No. Well, I guess the Baron had to go to the bathroom. It's Varun. They're engines. It's a clod sign of whoopers. Die. <laughs> oh man, I need one more. There they are. There's my next victims.
dusted. She's way above our level. We gotta get the bows. Shit. Dear God. Boss of Team Star's poison crew, Atticus. Pray forgive my <clears throat> Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel dandylance, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into the grim poison shall be your well deserved fate. On guard. Let's rock, Atticus. Pizza to me. That's right. I still have more pizza in the pocket. Oh, crap. You are challenged by Atticus of Team Star. Water, also to me. Not but, not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. I have no family. I was disowned. That is tragic. It's gonna be more tragic as your loss, Atticus. And Gerde. Do you really only have the two Pokemon? No. Oh no. That is a rev room on top of a rev room. Reception. Ha! Slime puddle. God, his theme is awesome. And Peach is great. You think to give me a taste of mine own poison? Fie! I will fight till the bitter end! <laughs> bitter blade. <laughs> oh. Well, it'll take more than one, I see. Flash fire. Fire moves can't even can't even touch Burning Jeff. They only make him stronger. Oh damn! I'll I'll be hit. At all, Atticus, I expected more of Team Star. Certain moves can poison with a mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake. God, that guitar's going insane. Forgive me, my friends. Flashback. About a year and a half ago. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Inferno Airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems all outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, 
Anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of th crappy things, Atticus. There's people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff or out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Oh. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out. Our world, our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Um, All right, gang. The bad has something to say. The fuck happened to your boots, lady? They're fucking incredible. You look like you just grabbed some plastic flags and then wrapped them around your legs. Let's move on to the next step. No. <laughs> it's time to put our backs into our battle training. So we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than anyone else in this in the team. That's what being a boss means. It's funny you say that, how they're all going on about, to Atticus about how much their outfits that he made for them mean to them. And you're like, wow, you guys look like shit. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus. It's okay, Team Star, I like you. <laughs> Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself and heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul. Heart and soul. I fell in love with you, heart and soul. Yeah. Fell in love with you madly. With every single something. I kind of forgot the lyrics. But I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Team Star's poison crew defeated. We bow cordially. It's a fine match, Atticus. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover foes, their foes, in gunk. <laughs> in gunk. Gunk. Dandelance is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don... Don Atticus! I forgot my voice! My compadre. It seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. Oh, I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? <laughs> When the other kid, when the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Gorsh. Yeah, I was about to say, when did Goofy join this fucking party? Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? <laughs> Nay. We've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. Come back, big boss. <laughs> I love you, Metal Gear Solid. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful! Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still... Don't you, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me. And don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. Hill? <laughs> it seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear, 
and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha. Ah, I believed Team Star to be the only one, the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. And scene. Cut! It's a wonderful job today, Atticus. You fucking, you go home, get some rest. You know what? Everybody did great work. Everyone's getting a raise. I don't need a raise. Cassiopeia, why is my phone summoning AC 130s again? Dandelions, it's me. Here to tell you about why your phone is summoning AC 130s again. Because <laughs> <laughs> the star badge is now yours then. <laughs> I see. I guess I'll return the fleet back to base. <laughs> now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Hey, listen! Now Atticus too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. It's Operation Starfall. You've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. It seems like a good time to let you. But it seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? They're the greatest soldier in the world. <laughs> sorry, that bot sounds like he's having indigestion. Oh uh, yeah, there's a gimme ghoul in the background somewhere. That's going to... <laughs> Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the Team Star banded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all squad bosses, all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that they continue con to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep should be there with you soon. Hey, hey there, Danny Lance. At a uh, Sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Hey, Evie, what's up? Ugh, I wasn't talking to you! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna sniff this backpack. Then I'm gonna sniff her. Oh, God, it's. Oh! <laughs> Stop blowing out the fucking audio. <laughs> you can't stop me. I right, fucking pizza sauce on my. So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder. The person who caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. The fuck you mean, Penny? What the fuck you talking about? What the hell are you saying? Uh, no, I just... Um, that's right, here, here, your reward. Take it, take it. All right, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Danny Lance, don't lose to those guys. Believe me, I would have to try really hard, hard to lose against them. Now we must go and fight Airy. Now go. Let the legend come back to life. Find it does not ah, need crap. It's only a friend. My fucking ah, my wrist hurts. Bum 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 Hooray! 
Oh shit, cutscene. Oh my god. Quickly, pizza. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me, I was just touching up my pompadour. And munching on some pizza. Mm. Mm. Dandelions. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Danny Lance. What do you think of Cassiopeia? They're... They're a bag of riddles. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Yeah. Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? I was just about to. You can just stick around. You just walk in the gate with me. Okay. Bye. I must go. The Academy needs me. I, 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 it needs me, Clive. Who, who's this Director Clavel you're speaking of? I didn't say anything. Who is this guy, Director Clavel? He must be the coolest, sexiest old man on the planet. Whatever you say, Director Clavel. <laughs> Code Red. Code Red. <laughs> Operation Starfall Alert. Everyone. Get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Why do you keep giving me a number to go off of? Because those are the goddamn rules. Oh, Sumos! He's a phantom. Go! Beat the shit out of these Toxicroaks! But beat the shit out of it. Beat the shit out of it. Beat the shit out of it? Damn. Go, go, go. go. I'm mashing R as hard as I can. Centurion and a monkey! It's it's like a uh, it's like a cantaloupe, but they use them as bullet balls. <laughs> God, you're just destroying all of these innocent creatures. It's fine. They're innocent. They don't deserve it. <laughs> hmm. Danny, don't you mean that? No, no you're Dandy, what? <laughs> why would you? Why would you do something like this? Why wouldn't I? I don't know, man. I'm just, I got pizza, all right? <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. Was it go? Was anything I was going to say explain anything? No. Why don't you expect this by now, R Roger Davidson? What? So, it's the, you're not even real, Roger Davidson. So guess what? It is your name. Fuck you. <laughs> I guess I am a Roger Davidson then. I always wanted to be a Steven! <laughs> oh, too fucking bad! Roger Davidson the third? Oh no, you're at a number! Oh god, no! Math! That means I have a lineage! I'm the third Roger... <laughs> Roger Davidson? Roger Davidson! Roger Davidson! You never got it? <laughs> Immediately. I'm not gonna remember this fucker's name. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> okay, I'm just... Mm. I swear to God, Roger Davidson. You're about to be Roger Davidson the fifth. Oh, oh no! What happened to the fourth? You don't want to know. I made him some tea. And he liked it so much, he wanted more. <laughs> that, that doesn't really seem all that bad. Yeah, what the hell? It wasn't. Oh my God. I but some say... He loved that tea so much. He, he just he drank more of it, <laughs> and he had a fantastic morning. 
Again, it doesn't really seem all that cool. I can't fucking do this. I'm tired. Oh man, looks like dumb bitch boy over there can't do my- Roger Davidson the fifth! I swear to god, don't- don't you dare sass the Baron. He is doing his best. What- what? I was just making a joke. Shut up! I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna reduce those numbers one by one and make sure you watch. I don't- I don't think we can hold her off much longer, boss. Fuck off. <laughs> it's just- the boss just flicks him. Oh, yeah, we're in the jacket over the shoulders. It's badass. <laughs> Boss of Team Star's fighting crew, Aerie. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone that tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. She's just becoming a super saiyan. Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm an android though, I have unlimited stamina, so it's fine. New challenge by Aerie of Team Star. This base is precious to us, I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Got the wide wrestling stance, it's cool. Wait, no, not to wrestleize, don't do that yet. She's gonna crack me up that the snow with her giant metal back. <laughs> get straight up, gonna get a fucking backbreaker. Stack up the sword dances, burning Jeff. Stack him up more. Oh yeah, gotta love it when burning Jeff's dances <laughs> with the sword. <laughs> well, yeah, sucker punch is a move that hits me first if I do an attacking move. But I'm not attacking. I'm just dancing. I just dance in the sweet memories. And I'm one and only dance. You call that a punch? I give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. It'll be me. The one who's left standing is always Burning Jeff. Except that one time he got punked out by Mona's, by Nimona's um, uh, Lycan Rock. But we don't talk about that. Oh no, Lucario! What will I ever do? Oh look, a volleyball player. Or a rugby player. Doesn't matter, it's dead. God, shout out to the guy to the fucking person on guitar. Just going insane. Love it. Annihilate. Fucking love Annihilate. Yeah, in this, um, in this generation of Pokemon, Prime have gotten evolution. And also, <laughs> hold on. I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. Please give me some of your energy. I was charging up the spirit bomb. One second. I'm trying to find um the Pokedex entry for um for Primeape and Annihilate. One second. Here it is. We can all just stare furiously at the camera. Like so, Primeape's Pokedex entry. It has been known to become so angry that it dies as a result. Its face looks peaceful in death, however. And then annihilates Pokedex entry. Oh, hold on. 
Oh, oh, never mind. When its anger rose beyond a critical point, this Pokemon gained power that is unfettered by the limits of its physical body. I'm sorry. So it got so angry it died. <laughs> I'd, and in death it literally became stronger. It's a fucking Jedi. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Burning Jeff got me too. About a year and a half ago. On the next episode. No. Thank you all as always. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. Remember, we're all made of stars. Yeah, that's a cute outfit. <laughs> You're a cute outfit. What's up? <laughs> it's, it's like, thanks, man. I appreciate it.